Looney Farm Guy here, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the update to the Wood Crane by Kenny456 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map. And this has had a fairly significant update. Changelog 1200. Four new configurations. Improved stability of the crane. Added interior details. Added new lights. Added log grab specialization new work camera and fix some other issues so we're going to take a look at it and i have each configuration set up here or will show you how it sets up and found a couple of quirks that you might need to know about but nothing game breaking so let's get into it we're where are we going to find it let's get our help window on it's going to be under tools and forestry equipment and that's where you'll find it there it is one hundred ten thousand dollars and it, um, yeah, it lists a bunch of stuff down there. We'll talk about that. It is 14 slots on console. So here we go. We have um, basically it um, on a trailer. We have a uh, options and we can see here that it's gonna change. Well, let's change colors first. And then we have a, an interesting thing going on here in the store. Let's make this um, let's make this green and then make the main color to yellow. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go main color black so that you see the yellow bit is the attachment. And we're gonna leave the rim color um, by itself. So we have log grapple. We have clamshell bucket where you see here kind of all packed away on this trailer bale fork so there's the bale fork there at the back then we have pallet fork and then we have hook and you can scroll through those and those will appear there those are the various configurations uh, extended arm or standard so I thought I had one of each out there <clears throat> We're going to pick this standard and we have an odd uh, option here in the store. It says attaches, but there's nothing in there. And when you press it, nothing happens. So I'm not sure if that's a mystery thing or whatever. Um, it doesn't seem to matter necessarily. Yeah, um, a mystery. I don't know what that's about. Something missed when it got updated i don't i don't know anyways we're gonna buy this one in case um no i think this one yes this one here is the hook the one with the hook and um we're just gonna that's how you get it in the store like this we're gonna back up and attach to it and we're gonna show you how it all unfolds and all that good stuff and let's see let's drive forward i guess <clears throat> so I didn't get um, I'm pretty sure this one with the hook would be like to pick up big bags and so forth um, we're going to try that so um, how do you unhook it or how do you set it up well let's detach it first and drive forward so once you've placed it where you want it you get into it so you jump in it's a it is like a vehicle except you don't start it up we have basically and then we have fastened unfastened tension belts but you press that nothing happens either which is i think a holdover from a previous version where the trailer got left behind but anyways l1 and x unfolds and this is what happens it starts building your crane now caution is needed here you must stay in the vehicle while it's being built now there it's done so it doesn't take a really long time and I'm not sure why this one says extended version and and well this right so re, you recall this with well, this was not the extended version and we'll unfold this one see if there's any difference I didn't all right no, it's still there. Of course, be careful where you place it because it's going to be, uh, you know, interfere with things. We'll go all the way to the end. 
Yes, it does. So, oh, it doesn't. Oh. Oh, all right. Problem there. Uh, if you don't get the extended version, it'll still have the extension, but you won't be able to go past it. That's what's happening. Okay. Right. So, <clears throat> all right. Our, um, our crane is built. Um, now, you can get in and out just by coming here, enter the vehicle, sp press square, there you are. So, our camera views is um, outside view as normally would you have an outside view. Now, we press R3, you have an in-cab view. Uh, let's see, there we go, lights. And press it again, we have our view of our um, um, end bit. And then one more view, we're outside. So there is our lights. Very nice. Now, operation, L1 and right stick, right and left, moves your crane along the tracks. Woo woo. And up and down, move your, um, well, whatever you have on the end of your crane, moves it up down. R1, right stick, left and right. Doesn't do anything, because this doesn't have that function up and down now let's see can we go all the way to the end no so this one was the shortened version however it's still showing that we have a long version so that might be a bit confusing to some of you uh, I guess that's problem number two L1 and R1 let's get in here L1 and R1 I don't think it really shows no it there we go left and right is uh, you can spin it so that's the hook. Now, um, let me go grab a big bag. All right, so here we are. I have, actually, it's a liftable bag. So let's see if, uh, if it, uh, uh, let's see if I can get, get it to it. Uh, there we go. So yes, um, sometimes these liftable bags don't really, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, it works. Kind of. It's a little, little yo-yo-y but I think that's because it's liftable <laughs> but you get the idea so that's uh, that's what it will attach to let's just drop that there we go all right so that's the hook um, the next one is the clamshell bucket and I have an example here of what you may may or may not want to do with it I have some rocks that I have uh, put on the ground and so you can use this to uh, you can set and, and as you can see you can set it up anywhere if you want to set it up close to a uh, pile of rocks and use it to load load product into trailers yeah that's definitely what you can do let's see if uh, this is the one that I the extended and no this one is not extended version either interesting I'm sure one of them I had an extended. Anyways, um, operation of the clam bucket, L1, is same as the other ones, except this one, L1 and R1, you have right stick, it spins, and then you can open it and dump in your rocks. Uh, picking up is pretty much kind of, mm, kind of, is um, typical of these of picking anything up off the ground in this game it's um it's a little bit not real um let's see we'll close we kind of close it up and there so yeah like so right on to the next one we're not going to spend a lot of time on each one of these uh here we go and uh, let's see is this one extended or not extended Yes, so there's the extended one. So that's the difference. You pick the extended, which I'll show you again, just to refresh. There we go. So what I'm saying is the design, extended arm or standard. If you pick standard, it will sh still show the extended arm, except you won't be able to go out there. So make sure you pick the extended arm because you're gonna have it either way. You might as well use it. All right. So I've cut down a tree and we have the tree grapple here. And again, same with the other ones. Um, same, uh, let's see, let's get 
come on there we go get over here get our grapple there L1 and R1 open and spin lower it down eventually you'll get used to the controls if you've uh, used these a lot and there we go so uh, next one is the uh, bail grab configuration again pretty much your same uh, same thing there very simple you grab stuff um, and you move it around uh, yes we'll talk about the last little glitch I found in a moment here we have the um, a pallet fork now this is the one this is the one where you're wondering well what is this L1 and R1 or R1 and uh, let's see left and right yes the R1 left and right on your right stick that is what it's for uh, it shows up on the other ones except that it doesn't do anything so there you go so what you can do is go down and I don't have a pallet I just it's like I and you can uh, let's see here uh, there we go move it back and forth so you lower it down move it back and forth and then you R1 and oh it's a little tricky uh, yeah this one might be, take a little bit of practice to get used to, but um, yeah, it has a pallet fork. There you go. Now, I have discovered um, a collision. Where did it go? Oh, he's over here. Why is he over here? I've discovered a collision issue under circuit circumstances shall we say and maybe I might have goofed up this one here or is it this one it's um it occurs when you don't let it fully unfold let's see if we can uh, yeah it's right about here where the trailer would be. Now notice the trailer disappears. Okay, it's not showing up now. Let's see if we can find it here. There. Right there. See that? Attach wood crane. So the attachment is still there. We can attach to it but we can't move it right we're stuck on it so un so we unattach <clears throat> and we move forward and now we have a collision see that i'm st it the the vehicle sticks so when you uh, let's see if we can find it by walking over here oh yeah there it is right here it's an invisible collision now there uh, because i um I did this <clears throat> and attached to it. <laughs> now it's kind of made it real. So now it's now it's kind of there. Now it's a collision. Now now you have a problem because you have a collision there. So not a huge problem. What you have to do is get in the vehicle and fold it and see where the see where that yeah, see the where the trailer is now, that's where that attachment was. And if you get out while it's still folding or unfolding, it'll freeze in there. So you have to be you have to be in there. Let's get in there. Oh, now I'm now now you're now it's a problem getting back in if you get out. That's the other problem. And so you're gonna have to tab to it. Where is it? And it nah, there we go. So you can't <laughs> So don't get out while it's now it's unfolding now you fold it back up there we go and done so now you can get out so a couple of little quirks don't don't get out until it's done folding or unfolding and now so you can see I back up the uh, the connection that was there 
see that's where the collision is right so if you yeah interesting little bit now it's better than it used to be it used to be you had the the trailer would stay there like you could take the trailer and take it away and um so now that now if you unhook it and you get out and now you can get back in like this unfold it so stay in the stay in the crane while it's unfolding there now we're done and now there's no collision there so if I back up again no collision we'll get that we'll get the marker we'll get the hey hook it up here don't 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 hook it up don't attach and you'll be fine you won't have the collision there I kind of that kind of um, messed me up at first so if you don't attach it while it's unfolded you'll be fine there won't be a collision there and there you go that's the update to the uh, wood crane a really good update I think it works really well now now you can you can fold it unfold before you would fold it and it would appear somewhere else if you didn't do it just the right way but now it's the the trailer disappears so the trailer will always be with it it's a it's kind of linked to the trailer like at this position so anyways yes wood crane by kenny456 on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and uh, remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now